Hello beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening and in this video I'm going to share some information and guidance that I received from the Akashic Guides just recently um, about the energies of the the eclipses coming up here. There's one um, on May 26 which is a lunar eclipse, total lunar eclipse and one on June 10th which will be a total solar eclipse and um, I actually just kind of went in and asked about these eclipse energies not realizing just how significant they were and I was I mean they gave me pages and so I'm actually going to split this into two videos and then after I channeled this through I uh, kind of received a, a viewer I'm very grateful for uh, a viewer sent me a some information about these eclipses and I'll put that link below um, and then I've been kind of listening to what some other people are channeling about it and this is an extremely extremely significant time period right now that we're in and so I I just want to really share this because um, I, th I think it's really going to help to prepare if if we are cognizant of these energies and how to prepare ourselves it's going to help us to prepare for I think a, a lot of stuff coming up in the near future so um, I'm just going to read to you this first part and um, <laughs> then we'll just let the Akashic Guides speak for themselves oh and I'm also sharing a beautiful painting that was painted by um, a member of my Wolfpack group on Patreon we met for a sacred painting last Sunday and she channeled through this gorgeous painting that I think really holds some energies that are very very pertinent to this particular time period so I'm going to be posting that up as I read you what came through. Oneness is upon us. We speak not of hive mind oneness although that too is materializing as it must. As all things cast their shadow this is the shadow of oneness. Do not fear it. It is part of a natural order and a darkness from which awakened humanity must emerge like the sun reappearing from the shadow of the moon. In truth there was no dimming of the light. There never was nor will there ever be. It's simply a matter of the perspective you hold and as you know by now or are learning dear ones you are free to choose the perspective that serves you best. And when we say you we speak not only of a collective you but also of the sovereign individual you. Be at peace that these two yous may not appear at this time to align. Be not dismayed should others in your soul group choose a different path than yours. Should they choose to experience their journey to enlightenment in a different way than you do. For you are all on the path to enlightenment. Every single human soul on this planet. Each one of you. The season's eclipses are a stark reminder of this. The lunar eclipse is a foreshadowing of the solar eclipse to come. Both are dependent on perspective. A lunar eclipse is a temporary blocking of light due to the shadow of earth falling upon the moon. This is a play of shadow and that which you call the shadow on the earth may be activated at this time. Be aware though that the light of the moon is simply an illusory reflection of sunlight. There may be shadow games, apparent threats to false light structures meant to elicit dark or chaotic states in the populace or in the psyches of specific individuals. Again, hold to your multidimensional perspective. Understand where the real source of light comes from and that this light is always eternally shining and bright. The solar eclipse is one of many activations taking place during this first half of the astrological year you call 2021. This is an apex event clearing and purifying solar energies in preparation for the solstice event of June 20th. Use this time. And as a side note I think that they're talking specifically about the 10 days between the solar eclipse on June 10th and the 20th but I'm also sort of getting this time 
between the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse. So use this time. There are 10 days before the solstice. This is a suggested time period for fasting, prayer, ritual, and release of unwanted energies. It is a good time to give away or throw away possessions that you no, no longer want or need. Also, gratitude and forgiveness work can be very helpful at this time, especially forgiveness. Remember that in forgiving another, you are releasing attachments to them and setting both them and yourself free. This is important work both to regain your own sovereignty and to clear the way for others to reclaim theirs as they are ready, which may not be in this lifetime. So be at peace with their choices. This is a key part of forgiveness. What's theirs is theirs. What's yours is yours. Release them, let them go, and tend to what is yours. You are very much loved. Know that this is your divine truth and hold it in your heart. And so a couple of themes I think coming through very, very strongly. One is that this is very much a preparatory time that we can, you know, that we're really being encouraged to, you know, just kind of go within to do clearing work. Just it's, it's a major clearing time. And forgiveness is this huge, huge practice that uh, will, will be, you know, definitely critical. Well, you know, I don't like the word critical, but instrumental here in, 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 in clearing out so that we can purify ourselves to be ready for. It sounds like there's going to be a beautiful activation and light activations um, at the solstice. So great time to prepare. And also, it's, it's also really about releasing our attachments to others and which really includes any kind of dismay that we have around what others choose at this time it's really we need to be tending to our own um and even though that's difficult sometimes especially if you're empathic and especially if it's people you love and care for and you know just know that their souls know right they they every person goes through this sequence of awakening and we attract the experiences that we need as souls so you know i think there was very reassuring that you know they're telling us we're all on a path to enlightenment okay it's there's nobody that's going to be damned or anything here <laughs> you know they may be choosing another big long cycle of 3d existence or whatever it is but it's their soul's choice right there's they've signed up for it and, you know, if you haven't, if you're more on the ascension path, you know, <laughs> it's likely that your soul has actually gone through those kind of things and, and um, learned those lessons already. So, um, okay, so I'm going to be sharing in the next video, and this will probably be coming up pretty soon, the rest of what they told me, which a lot of those were practical things that we can do in this period of preparation. So stay, stay tuned for that. Um, if you're interested in joining my Patreon groups, I have three levels, and uh, you can read more about that and by clicking the link below. And other than that, just remember that uh, you were born to be free, and take it easy, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>